Welcome into Pipeline Perspectives. Tim McMaster here along with MLBPipeline.com's Jonathan Mayo and Jim Callis. There's two sides to the hot stove season. There's teams that are trying to get that big league talent and really make a push in the next season. And then there's other teams that are maybe trading talent away to build up that system. So the debate is which team acquired the most prospect talent. Jonathan, let's start with you. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Rays, and uh, they're no stranger to trying to, to do this in terms of building up their farm system by trading away big league parts. It looked a little bit different uh, than it has just because they traded a young guy in, in Will Myers, but they brought in a lot of talent. Uh, seven guys that slotted into their top 20 during the offseason, uh, you know, and that's not encountering a guy like Jose Dominguez, who was not in the top 20. Daniel Robertson is probably the, the biggest name of the bunch, uh, the only top 100 guy that, that they did acquire during the offseason. They got in the Ben Zobris trade from Oakland, has a chance to stay at shortstop, can really hit. Good advanced player is going to be in AA in 2015, so uh, shouldn't be too far off from being able to help Tampa at the big league level. Steven Souza, they got from the Nationals in the Will Myers trade, is a guy who's going to help them right away. I know the Rays actually think he has a chance to be an everyday guy uh, in a corner spot, and maybe not just a fourth outfielder. But even as a fourth outfielder, he's plenty good. And, and then a, a bunch of other guys who are intriguing, just gives them a lot of depth. Boog Powell, uh, they got in the Zobras trade, a guy who can really hit and showed that he can continue to do it in the Arizona Fall League. Andrew Velasquez, Justin Williams, Jake Bowers, and Burt Smith. Uh, those last two coming in, in the Myers trade as well. And this doesn't even count Willie Adamas, who they got at last year's deadline, who's probably the best prospect of them all. Jim? Like Jonathan, I, I kind of stuck with the same theme. I went with a, a team that has a new GM, John Hart with the Braves, and is trying to remake the franchise. And the Braves, it's unbelievable the amount of talent they brought in to, to really help prop up a system that had kind of thinned out in the past few years. Looks a lot stronger now. Uh, you, you know, you talk about left-handed pitchers. They got Max Fried, who was a first-round pick of the Padres a couple years ago. They got him in the Justin Upton trade. I've had guys tell me they thought Max Fried was the best high school lefty they'd seen since Clayton Kershaw. They got Manny Banuelos from the Yankees for a couple of relievers. You know, he's still not all the way back from Tommy John surgery, but before he got hurt, he was one of the best lefties in the game. For a little longer-term investment, they got Ricardo Sanchez in the Kyle Kubica trade. With the Angels, he's a lefty who's touched 95. That's just the lefties. Righties, you got Mike fulton Evitz, who's a top 100 prospect. He came over in the Evan Gaddis trade, which I thought was a tremendous trade for the Braves. I mean, he, Mike fulton Evitz probably has the most consistent velocity of any minor league starter. Hits 100 more regularly than any minor league starter. He's surfaced in the big leagues. They got Terrell Jenkins, tremendously athletic, former supplemental first-round pick. He came over in the Jason Hayward trade from the Cardinals. He looked very good in the fall league. They got back Erodis Vizcaino, who they originally traded and got from the Yankees, and then traded to the Cubs. Now they got him back for Tommy La Stella. He's a power arm in the bullpen. So that's pitchers, hitters. We got Rio Ruiz, who, you know, very good bat, a, you know, very promising bat, average in power. He came over in the Evan Gaddis trade. They got the minor league stolen base leader, and arguably a guy who's as fast as any player in the minors, Malik Smith, and they also got Dustin Peterson. Uh, both those guys from the Padres in, in the Justin Upton trade. Like Jonathan said, I'm not even counting guys who I guess qualify technically as young big leaguers like Shelby Miller and Jace Peterson, but even a little Rule 5 intrigue, they took another Tommy John guy, Dan Winkler, from the Rockies. He led the minor leagues in strikeouts in 2013. More of a deceptive guy, and, and I, I thought one kind of interesting theme with these guys, Winkler is recovering from Tommy John surgery. Freed's recovering from Tommy John surgery, and Manny Benuelos and Aradis Vizcaino have had it in the past, so they kind of bought low on some of these guys. A year ago, you weren't going to be able to trade for Max Freed. Two years ago, you weren't going to be able to trade for Manny Benuelos.